Hello my peaches, what's up? I am Pratha and welcome to today's video. Today I am talking about Guess Seductive Noir and this one, I was not sure about getting this. I was not sure after getting this, but I have some really interesting things to talk about this one. Let's jump right into this video without any delays. so this is what the inner bottle is like the bottle is really stunning guys the cap fits but does not fit very well because it can easily rotate on it but it's not like that it's very flimsy or low quality the packaging is actually quite nice and quite impressive my only reason for getting this fragrance like I think I have two reasons one I want to own one fragrance of each brand and it's not like i want to do it within a span of time like i as i grow my uh, collection i want to own something or the other from each of the designers and the other reason was that it's been compared to mon guerlain and that is considered to be a very beautiful classy or bridal or wife like fragrance and also it's very expensive so for now i do not afford mon guerlain i do not want to spend that amount of money on one fragrance because in india it's very much around 9000 rupees and just because of the price reason i have never been able to own dolce and gabbana the only one in tens i like that coconutty cream vanilla fragrance so much but i cannot own it because of the simple reason that it's very high in price so i got this one thinking that let's try this let's see if i end up liking this so this fragrance to be honest has confused me so much i was like so so confused about what this fragrance actually is and it took me time to get along with it it took me time to figure this fragrance out i did have to look at the notes it's a good blend to be honest it is well blended to the extent it was making it difficult for me to figure out what notes are in here so i want to tell you what actually i was feeling with this fragrance let me take out the notes on this so that i could give you a clearer idea when i smelled it i was like oh it's a floral oh it's a plummy fragrance that were the things that i was picking up in it i was very confused about it initially because i always say that i'm not an expert i'm just a perfume enthusiast and i like figuring out fragrances but i am not a pro at it i do not have the knowledge at all it's i just tell you what i smell so it has the top notes of sage bergamot and peony then in the middle notes it has iris jasmine sambac and lily of the valley in base notes, it has velvet, vanilla, and vetiver, some particular sort of vetiver, but I don't know how to pronounce this. Haitian, Haitian vetiver, I don't know. So um, those are the notes on this. And what I actually smell in it is a citrusy floral opening, uh, which is um, more like a purple flower opening, like a lot of purple flowers with citrus and a fresh opening for sure. It has a very unique note to it that I was initially unable to figure out, but it has the note of iris. Now this iris note, what it is doing is that it's kind of giving me a plasticky smell, not in a bad way, let me tell you that. It's, um, it smells like a citrusy floral opening, but then in a very, like how cosmetics or lipsticks smell plasticky, so that facet of this fragrance is way too strong and it smells like a plasticky floral but not in a synthetic or a bad way again i would like to say that in a very cosmetic florally way so it smells like uh, some sort of cosmetic product that is smelling of purple flowers it does smell like that in the opening but uh, in the dry down it becomes a very very different fragrance now let me tell you that it does not transform into a completely different fragrance it's not like that it's opening up like something else and then sitting into something else it's not like that that iris that cosmeticness that cosmetic smell comes down to the base and in the base it's a very fuzzy vanilla as velvet is mentioned in the notes it's a very fuzzy vanilla uh, powdery 
kind of fragrance which is so beautiful guys it's so amazing and to be honest it has taken me around more than two months to completely love this fragrance and it was such an unusual fragrance for me even after having so many fragrances i think at present i have more than 60 70 fragrances but even after that and it's not that i don't have designers but those designers are very mainstream kind of designers and this came off as a very different fragrance to me and it took me time it took me around two months to completely fall in love with this fragrance every time i was spraying this i was like oh why did i buy this why did i waste my money on this i shouldn't have bought this but as I kept going back to it, trying it more, and there was this one time when I sprayed it and went to bed because sometimes what I do is that I slip into my bed and I watch some Netflix. Yeah, so I slept and in the morning when I woke up, I could smell this on my hand where I had sprayed it. Such a beautiful vanilla florally fragrance was coming up to me. Again, I would like to mention another thing, which I keep on repeating. I'm sorry for that, that I am not a floral fragrance lover at all. The fragrances that have majorly or has a main note as a floral note, I don't like those fragrances. I never fall for them enough. But for some reason, this one is so complex, guys, so complex. And it's very different, I would say. The floraliness still does pushes me back a little. It's not that I have fallen for that florally cosmeticness in it. But the dry down, when it dries down completely, maybe like an hour and a half or maybe two hours, it really starts turning into a fuzzy vanilla uh warm but not too warm but more like a fuzzy vanilla powdery fragrance which is very beautiful guys so now the advantage of having this one and trying on this one again and again for me was that i was traveling uh back in november and on the airport since we had some time in hand and we were quite early so i tried mon girl on um on airport and the advantage why i'm saying that this is an advantage i had a clear idea of what this smells like and when i went and tried mon girl on if i would have tried mon girl on before buying this or owning this or trying this i would not have been sure about it but mon girl on strongly reminded me of this now the difference is that this is much more stronger a little more sharper mon Guerlain is so much more smoother and well blended definitely smells like much classier of the fragrance and that is why the price difference because that is like a 9000 10000 rupees fragrance and this is like a 2500 max or a 2600 maybe 3000 rupees max but this and mon Guerlain are so similar to my nose maybe not in the opening but the dry down is very very similar on this and on mon Guerlain. now the difference here is that mon Guerlain has lavender and vanilla in it this on the other hand has some purple flower was some cosmetic iris note to it and then vanilla a fuzzy vanilla which is pretty much similar i'm not saying that this is a hundred percent dupe of mon girl on but it is very close like 90 percent close to it and i was strongly reminded of this when i tried mon girl on and i have not started liking this fragrance because of the fact that it is a dupe for mon girl on but i have started loving the florally unusual florally fuzzy vanilla and a powderiness in it in the dry down and in the dry down it's a really beautiful fragrance but if you are considering to buy this i want to tell you that it is not a very blind by safe fragrance you have to be into unique fragrances and you have to be prepared to accept a very unique fragrance or something very poor it's definitely in the category of polarizing it's not a safe blind buy that is what i'm trying to say just keep in mind that if you're buying this you will get a very weird note of florals mixing with plasticiness a good plasticiness a cosmetic like plasticiness this is not your regular fragrance this is not your everyday fragrance it's definitely classy but in a very unique way it's not something you will instantly get along with it will take you time maybe 
maybe it won't take you time maybe it's just me who has taken so much time to get along with this fragrance and to finally start loving it this might take time to grow on you what are the places you can wear it to i only think of formal situations with this it is a uh, definitely sexy it is definitely on the bolder side in the fragrances and it is a bold formal sexy woman in my opinion it's not your pretty delicate kind of woman it's a bold woman she's the decision maker and she is she's basically always in the front row so that is the kind of vibe i am getting from this the longevity on this is pretty good on my skin it stays so long guys it seriously stays so long um generally fragrances do not stay that long on my skin and on clothes it stays even longer and the projection is also quite impressive on this i won't say that it's a beast mode projective fragrance if you have sprayed this on yourself and if you have sprayed enough the people around you or people standing next to you will be actively able to smell it on you and uh, it's pretty good on projection for the price of 2500 rupees and it's pretty good on longevity as well i remember buying this fragrance in i don't know october maybe it has taken me so many months either september or october but it has taken me so long to completely love this fragrance and to talk great things about it sitting here but i would not call it a fail at all because i have fallen so much for it and i'm reaching out for it again and again for some reason so i really like this fragrance now and yeah that's it for today's video guys i hope you liked and enjoyed this video and found it helpful do tell me your thoughts in the comment section below if you're already using it or if you have your eyes on it or if you know some other dupes for Mongerlon. If you're still here watching me and liking me, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up down below. Keep looking beautiful, keep smelling good and have a great day all. Bye bye. Mwah.